Hello everybody all over the world. Oh, I'm HiGPS and today's not a HiGPS episode, it's HiGPS Mentors somebody and today we will be looking at Frothy Brew. Uh, playing sniper on Badwater in a lobby. Thought I'd give it a try to mentor and give my thoughts because I played against him he's actually playing against me so we get to see me from the other end of the perspective as well to see how this guy snipes and I think from the way he did it he killed me more than I killed him and he was playing very solid very safe I was playing very risky and I got killed a lot by him so we're gonna be seeing that just wait for the, re the demo to load up and then we will look at that if we would load today that'd be really cool Yep. All right, so let's see here. Here we go. Oh, whoops. All right, here we have Frothy. Uh, let's see, let's So he's using some kind of different crosshair. He's going to be on defense first. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's the thing. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure you're breaking this. Break it. And he's like, yeah, let's see. Can I not open console? What? Pause. Why doesn't console work? So you like cancel everything. Let's see it. There you go. All right. So we're gonna be commenting on him, and he's gonna be sniping here at the average spot. Sniper. That's me down there. He managed to get a nice quick scope on me. I scope first, getting me pretty standard stuff there. Very nice. Uh, doing a bit of twitching. He uh, also checks his back every once in a while. Right that he wants to throw. Sees a demo, tries to do another flick shot there. Really liking his position here. So uh, really using the fact that he has his team in front of him, making sure to be overhealed. Uh, so he's just gonna go over here and peek again. That's very nice. Standard spot, checking for a spy. Up, oh, nice call. And for some reason, uh, this still hides the view model for some reason. Uh, let's see. I haven't even noticed that. Oh, this is very risky play right here. He's dancing with the medic. Gets a nice headshot on him. Wow, these guys are like so asleep. Getting another nice headshot on the soldier and the scout. And just runs straight into his crosshair. Excellent snipes there. Really agree with his positioning right now. And he should probably stay in the tunnel a bit longer, but it doesn't really matter. And, uh, yeah, I don't even care. The model's gonna be gone. He's still gonna be using the sniper rifle. That's fine. Back and forth here. As I go down to a spy and he's running here in the back. Checking out. Really agree with his positioning. I'm getting a nice headshot on the soldier there. Takes down the uh, demo man as well. Really agree with his uh, positioning. Should probably check his back right now, but uh, that's just a minor thing that you don't really have to worry about too much. I'm not sure what he's doing there, but that's interesting. Um, so right now he could probably take a slightly forward position. I'd like to see him... Uh, let's see here. If you pause. Oh, how do you do this? Drive. Yeah. Like probably standing in front of here would probably be better as it gives you like a wider uh, range. You can like see stuff that's like, you know, over here. Standing this. And since the other sniper hasn't really shown himself, you can take that kind of risk to do that. 
just see him standing here. He's gotten some excellent, excellent headshots there in the beginning. That was, was, was pretty sweet stuff there. And that was it. What? I, oh yeah, just see you fucking around. Whoops. Getting a nice headshot on the engineer there. The soldier should be jumping, but he's not, so that's fine. Take out the power as well. He's really doing all the work here. As he gets taken out by a soldier. A fag, nonetheless. up again in five seconds. Ah, that's right now. He's been playing fairly safe. Not really overextended, taking any of those uh, big um, risks. So I'm actually liking a sniper play quite a lot, but he should probably run out the door and not be so uh, defensive there, taking a little risk. So you can always, you know, run back up to the house right outside the uh, spawn there. So we're going to probably see him taking the standard position, which is... Uh, okay, he's not going to take the standard position. He's going to Flickering and he's gonna be picking uh, over here. He's gonna be strafing back and forth. Some pyro. Pyro's pretty dead. Should probably, you know, the thing is about Pyro, you should probably take your time shooting at Pyro. Oh, getting a nice headshot on the medic, didn't register. Doesn't that suck? Who? That Pyro should probably take your a little bit more time. Line the shots, getting a nice body shot. The soldier there, take him out with a headshot because the soldier is just running forward. And there's me down there. I think he's gonna be killing me pretty soon. The heavy as well. We go snap to a spy because spies will kill you as a sniper. That's what happens. So we have his team, his demo man, his pirate friend. He's using the same stuff as I am, pretty much. Checking his sides. Yes, I know this. No. Let's not by a spy once again. No thing is, like, I couldn't even hear that spy, so I probably, probably, probably just snook off on him. And like I said, with the sniper, if you get killed by spies, it's not a big deal because they're gonna kill you. Regardless, because they're counter the counter to you. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So as of right now, he should just. Okay, throws, and you just got killed by a spy, and you figured out that's the spy, and he has some interesting scopes. You just uh, body shot him, which he does. Excellent. Getting a nice uh, sticky jump there. And uh, I would really see him like to run into the right here and just scope. Yep, there we go. That takes me down because I was paying attention. Nice flank there. Engineer jumps, takes him out as well. Shouldn't be no problem if the engineer's not using the pistol. Yeah, pretty easy. Back. And, uh, I'd really like to see him run up there and go on the right, far right side. Let's see if we can pause this. Uh, what I really like to see him do is uh, run up here and probably like stand here and scope something. That would be pretty nice. It's a nice angle you have. I'd really like to see him do that. Oh, whoops. The heavy comes around the corner, gets taken out because he's fat, slow, and stupid. Oh, I'm gonna see a spy up there. Makes sense. Probably gonna be calling that to his team. Nobody said anything so far, as far as I know. I'm a bit careful there. He could actually run out there and throw him to Roddy and help this demo man probably kill that target. But uh, he's playing very safe, not taking any risks. Making sure to always strafe, never stand still, because you never know when the enemy sniper comes around the corner. The shots there can't really do it. He has overheal, he's good. I keep in mind he can't die from quick scope, so that means you can be a bit more reckless. We know we're under 50 health there. Come here, take the headshot on him, and he has three health left. Which means he would if he didn't have an overheal, he would be dead. So he gets a nice counter uh, scope on me there. Right now he's dominating me because I haven't been able to get the proper angles on him, and he's just doing a really good job playing it safe. Staying together with his team and having his teammate in front of me. In front of himself. Getting a nice body shot there. You know, body shot, headshot does matter as long as they're dead. It's taken out by a soldier with the black box. Good! Good. Good thing we have soldiers that know what they're doing. But we haven't seen uh, the consistency of his headshot that he got in the beginning. So this comes all down to a sniper stamina. 
What's pretty common about snipers is that they're like some guys that are like really good like the first two minutes of the game and then they like can't, you know, focus. Like right there he should have had two bodies up but he missed, so. Maybe a bit uh, over his elbows there. Should have gotten that spy too. That's fine. Uh, nice position here, that's a very good spot. He's uh, really just standing in the standard spots because I remember when I, uh, we, I watched cast the, the game, they played with him. Uh, he was doing all kinds of fancy, cheesy uh, positionings where he re really didn't get anything done. But now he's gone back to more uh, basic stuff and uh, he's doing a lot better. He's actually top fragging, I think. I can't see the scoreboard, but he's actually uh, top fragging on his team. Which means there's the rest of the team is not really doing their job if the sniper's top fragging, you know. Just standing here. The only weakness for this is that the window on the left side can take out. Oh, nice spot by the spy there. Gets a kill on him. My dead ringer. So just uh, working this angle here. Uh, he could probably run up and stand on the right side in the house there, but uh, that would be a very risky something I would do. Uh, by risky, I mean it's risky and it has high reward. I mean you will be able to get some big picks, but there's a larger chance you're gonna die. Uh, that's me up there, and he just decides that he's not even gonna engage in uh, battling me one-on-one. -on -one. So that's an excellent choice there. He's gonna see if I'm still in the window. Because um, that's the thing, if you know that the enemy sniper is like better than you, you should just avoid him and just go somewhere else. Keep in mind that equally uh, skilled snipers kinda, uh, kind of equalize each other out, because none of them will shoot each other, because they're just waiting for the other guy to make a mistake, and if nobody makes a mistake, uh, nothing's gonna happen. So this is an engineer, that's probably a spy. Gonna be throwing Gerati. It's a nice buy shot for that man. Then he goes down with me as he scoped first. And then he died first. And uh, there's not really you can do uh, do about that. You scope in to shoot a bunch of guys and then like the uh, sniper just shows up uh, as soon as you scopes and kills you. This is gonna happen. He's gonna be running out. Uh, he's being really careful. Uh, you don't really have time to be careful when the cart's right there and none of you guys are up. You should really not throw that at the domain. You should throw it at the cart for more people. Bigger chance. You just. Yeah. But I think you'd lose regardless. However, that was kind of misprioritizing to Gerardi. Because you always want to throw Gerardi at where the most people's at, not the guy who's necessarily closer to you. Um, and also, when it comes to taking picks, you should sometimes just ignore what's in front of you and just go for the cart and try to stop it. But, uh, my team cap, and we win, and now the team's gonna be uh, changed. So now we're gonna see him on offense. And both uh, Frothy Brew and me calling a uh, good round here. So far we've seen him play very, very solid. We've only seen, uh, like, not exactly mistakes, but a bit of, like, unluckiness. Because, you know, you scope, and then the enemy sniper just shows up, and he kills you while you're scoping. There's, like, not really much you can do about it. It's all about timing. Um, which also comes down to where the uh, enemy sniper thinks you're gonna be. If you stay in the same spot for too long, he's gonna know and he's probably gonna hit you from another side, so... And uh, the way sniper versus sniper works, like I said before, if you go first, you're most likely to die first. It doesn't really matter if you're trying to be all like fancy and jumping and ducking and using like the glitch uh, thing and like jitter your hip like uh, model up and down, because you're still gonna get headshot by a skilled sniper because it's not that hard to hit. So we see him being here, uh, he should Mission probably be looking a bit more, seconds. see if there's like a sniper up top right, he sees me there, Five, and he decides four, to three, run around two, Willy, yeah he's gonna one. engage, no he's not gonna engage in the battle, he's actually gonna avoid the sniper duel, standing in a bit of spot here, see if we can get a drop on the heavy, Layla lands a body shot, sees the medic, can't really pull it off because that's a really hard angle to deal with. A good angle is if the enemy is on the same um, same uh, height as you. That's the uh, best angle you want to be at. So you see, he hasn't been really using, uh, you know, the average spot where you want to snipe on the right side. Mainly because I'm there, I'm already there. But oh, I was scoped already. He just runs out, quick scopes, and kills me. That was a very risky move for me because I was hoping I'd get a pick on a medic or a heavy or something, and then he gets a nice drop on the. Uh, out there. Excellent headshot there. So just uh, basic counter, but ba pretty much the same thing happened to me there, what happened to him at the last stage of uh, when he was on the red team. 
where he just scoped and was looking for a kill and the other sniper just showed up and killed him. And then I had enough on it and then I killed him. Just, you know, repositioning yourself and hitting from another angle. Very useful there. You see, it's not a lot you can do about it because it didn't even see me, so... Uh, it doesn't matter, like, how good of a sniper you are, eventually the other sniper will kill you if they know what they're doing. Um, so right now he's being very, very careful. He sees me up there and he just does not want to engage in a sniper one on one and scoping first. So he decides to do nothing instead and hope for his team to attack. And uh, sees the heavy, doesn't even fire, just uh, unscopes. Uh, when you're at 75 health, you have enough health to uh, shoot him, so just shoot him. Doesn't matter if you land a body shot or headshot, as long as you hit him, that's fine. Sniper, now we have a bit of a difficulty here. Uh, he can't really run up the rocks and anything, there's a spy nearby. Alright, let's keep seeing a pyro, lands a body shot on him. This is all by himself. Alright, so there's a demo man behind him. He thinks he's a spy. He's a scout coming on, he's sandwiched between us. Pyro and a scout. So not the best of luck there. Uh, running up top left is pretty hard as a sniper. You really want to run on the right side, especially here on uh, Badwater. So, but the thing is, like, if you don't have anyone with you on the uh, right side, it's gonna be really, really hard. Lance a nice headshot on the demo there, leaving him with only a few health left. So I don't have to kill him, but leaving a nice headshot on the heavy there. Seeing a spy deeplo hitting him, but not killing him apparently. And then the demo gets ubered, the instant tries to shoot him, that's unlucky, and he gets the spy. Nice pick there. And he sees, uh, sees me and how he's overhealed, he can afford to be reckless, so he did, and he paid with 150 damage to the headshot. It's a nice pick on the heavy there. Um, seeing him play, very, very excellent, very, very solid. Uh, keep in mind, this is a lobby, so you gotta expect that um, a couple of your the guys in your team is a bit, um, you know, when they play this music's uh, playing. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there we go, the place like this. Yeah, like that. So he's gonna be really fancy right now. He's a spy. Catches him on very suspicious using the doing. He's not gonna chase that. And he gets a nice pick on me. I have no idea what happened there. Physically, I counter him by going somewhere fancy, and then he went even fancier and got a nice kill on me there as I was running in a straight line. Very nice. So he's using this. The only bad thing about this is that if the enemy sniper knows you're there, you won't be able to do much. But I didn't know it was there, so he just capitalized on being, you know, surprise! Headshot. Bit, so he's gonna be having some troubles here with the heavy. That's he. What I'd really like to see him do right now, let's see, pause it. Let me drive. You can't see him because he's invisible. I have no idea how to do that. So, uh, what I'd really like to see him do is run back here. And then do some sniping here if there's anything up here. We can't see if there's anything up here because of the way the demos are recorded, but uh, we'll we'll see. He's actually gonna run back here. I'm gonna be ducking. And oh, he sees the scouts. And the scout takes them out because scouts are good against snipers. In case you haven't noticed, because uh, they're really hard to hit. Keep in mind, snipers are support class, and even if you're like godlike as a sniper, keep in mind that you do not occupy the space where um, where you killed your target, unlike this, pretty much every other class does. See, pirate gets a nice 150 body shot on him. Uh, doesn't matter that he didn't kill him, it's just a pyro. They're not that crucial. This is a heavy. It's a bit uh, nervous, I guess, or something. I don't know. Misses him twice. So just take your time, be relaxed, make sure you hit those shots. Now it's with his team, and he decides to split up. You should really go with your team and have Girardi on their back, pretty much. Uh, he's a spy here. The thing is excellent, just keep using the uh, body shots on him until he dies. Uh, there you go, tries to scope. Back. Uh, keep in mind that the ambassador does 102 damage headshot, so if you have uh, more than that, you're good. If you got less than that, you're pretty dead. So he's gonna be here with the scout. This is gonna be interesting. Scout 101. And you can just go in with the bushwhacker. Just go in with the bushwhacker. And he falls to his death. 
that's one of the reasons I like to work, use the Bushwhacker, is because you can throw him in Jirati, you just need one hit to kill him. And they just go, don't take the Tele, sniper camping it, and that's me. Uh, I, yeah, I was camping Teleporter. I think I killed the guy who, uh, who uh, whined about camping twice. So I'm, I'm standing on the right side there. Uh, yeah, there he sees me, tries to run a shot. This is being a bit risky. And then he just gets over here by a medic. That was very suspiciously acting like a spy. Thanks, mate. And he's gonna be taken out by a spy. Couldn't hear it, nothing you can do about it, don't worry. It's not the Paras' fault either, because regardless, spies are gonna kill you. Hey, I killed the demo! Sweet. So, right now, I remember this part. I'm just wrecking it up at this spot, because I'm like pretty much untouchable, because I have my team in front of me. And let's see if we can do this. Let's see. This is where I'm at. The sniper spot, and there's actually a sentry. You can't see it because of the recording, but I think there's a sentry gun up here. So I made it so that whenever people attacked me, I could just fall back into the sentry gun. And that's the thing about being a support in like, um, working together with your team. Because if you, as a sniper, you can sometimes work as bait. It's like, oh my god, there's a sniper, he missed me, let's go kill him. So if you have like a sentry to back you up or something, uh, or a pyro, that's really good, or both. The best defense is of a combo, if you had to pick three classes, would probably uh, engineer, sniper, pyro. It's pretty good, together. I tried to get a stab on me, he couldn't do it. He's overhealed. No, he, he didn't even actually have to dodge there. He could just, you know, take the shot and align it because you know, I won't be able to do more than 150 damage. So he can still afford to be careless, but now he can't. His health dropped below 50. Can't do it. So, um, so tips goes, uh, especially a sniper versus sniper, if you have more than 150 health, you can afford to be careless and scope first. You can actually do that. Uh, you'll actually pay off more. I mean, it will get you killed sometimes, but it will get you the kill more. But it's a gamble. Uh, and as you can see, Frothery doesn't really like to gamble, he likes to play it safe. Nice to ride it there, but Uber is popped, and there's nothing you can do about that when the entire enemy team comes after you. So, uh, no surprise, they're not gonna win this uh, round, they just say hopeless. Heavy. Uh, fun fact: uh, If the heavy just has 300 health and is not being healed, it's pretty much quicker to just head quick scope in twice. However, there's more risk involved in that because you know you can shoot you and you don't flinch, or you can just use the four-second uh, charge-up time, which is uh, on the scope. So they're trying to push this sentry up there. That's what I mean. The sentry's up there, uh, protecting. There, and they have about five seconds to do this. And here comes the overtime. I'm not really sure where he's going. Yeah, he's going up on the roof there. Gonna try and push the carts. People already calling GG. Takes out the spy, probably the dead ringer. Sees the teleporter. Just kill out for points, I guess. And then they lose with me as a top fragger. So he would stop fragger on his team, and I will stop fragger on my team. And that was the demo of uh, Frothy Ubru. Thank you for sending that. It also means that I can will be casting and commentating on your games if you play a class. I can do that. So send that to me if you want. IGPSreplays at gmail.com. So yes, what did we learn about Frothy play? Well, we learned that he plays a solid sniper. He doesn't take many risks. However, he should probably uh, give some more focus into since he's using Jirati. He should probably be using it along with his team. Like if his team is going for a push, and even if it's like a horrible sniper spot, you can uh, just throw Jurati and be out of there. Because keep in mind, if you throw Jurati, and the person in Jurati gets killed when he's in Jurati, from like full health, the Jurati is probably going to take a third of his health, of his total health. And that means if like there's a couple, like you hit the entire enemy team at once, you're going to take away the entire enemy team's health by a third. Uh, if they all die. So other than that, he did play it very solid. It was just a lobby, so he wasn't you know, actually tip-top players he played with. You can see that from some of the headshots uh, he got of people just running straight forward. So thanks, I'm my GPS, and this was my first mentor.